It's been one month ago that Alex Obermeyer from Pivot Bio and I were out here in our Pivot Bio plot, and there was a stark contrast between applied and unapplied areas. Uh, I wanted to come back today and see if I could uh, uh, still see it to the naked eye like we could a month ago. Whereas a month ago, it was uneven, different heights, things like that, and you could see it to the row, now everything is even. You know, that's interesting to me. Is it just gonna be vegetative? Will there be a yield gain here? What we're really looking for is an ROI at the end of the season. And if you remember, here we have only 40 pounds of nitrogen by itself. We have 40 pounds of nitrogen with Pivot Bio versus my normal rec of a high yielding area of 80 pounds. In the previous video, there were some comments and questions made about the expense of the Pivot Bio and things like that. The reason I went from 80 pounds to 40 pounds is a couple different reasons. 40 pounds of nitrogen for me this year in the form of anhydrous is equal to the cost of the Pivot Bio. So 40 pounds of anhydrous, plus pivot bio is equal to me of 80 pounds of anhydrous. I'd like to see the yield gain there. Then I'd like to also see what's the yield gonna be if we just have 40 pounds of anhydrous by itself. If you also remember in the fall of 23, I did a nitrogen trial where we went from 60 pounds of anhydrous up to 240 with all of it yielding within five bushel of each other, 209 to 214, I believe. So we've also done a trial where we have had zero nitrogen and that only yielded 140. So obviously we do need some nitrogen Nitrogen. Is 40 pounds going to be enough? 60 was plenty. We need to find the bottom end. So there's a method to the madness here is the reason that we did the 40. Again, it's the price of the pivot. And again, it's because we know 60 pounds is enough. This corn looks even. It's dark green. Everything's going on out here. The weed control looks to be pretty good. We'll just have to see as this continues on throughout the season. But right now, the corn with the pivot, the corn without the pivot, you know, 40 pounds of nitrogen, 80 pounds of nitrogen, you really can't tell the difference. Uh, time will tell.